Hello, I hope you are doing well, and welcome to Marvel's Iron Man VR walkthrough without commentary on the PlayStation 4. And I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I have a video with Spider-Man Homecoming VR demo, and I've really enjoyed that demo. If only that demo could be longer. Which is why I've been really looking forward to play this game, but this time as Iron Man. Spider-Man and Iron Man are my favorites. You can also watch the unboxing video I did of this game. I've also done the old PlayStation 2 Iron Man walkthrough, which you can check out. The size of this game is actually 50 gigabytes, and as I always do in my walkthroughs, I added out the loading screens, and in just this part, it's about 5 minutes combined, but the game looks really, really good for a VR game. In the game you also have a few options where you have to choose on what to say as Tony Stark. I have also gotten a request that I should do a review afterwards of the game, so I shall do that. If you are interested in the game, I have put an Amazon affiliate link in the description. I would really appreciate that. I hope you will enjoy the series. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thank you for watching. Enjoy the walkthrough. I am Iron Man. Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm, well, you know who I am. The guy who has it all. Wealth, fame, impeccable taste in suits. What do you get the man with everything? A chance to give something back. Okay, Mark III test flight. Starting with maneuvering thrusters. Hands by my sides. Palms back. <laughs> good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. Opening targeting suite. Repulsors ready. Hands up, palms forward. Bullseye.
You may have a problem, Tony. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious, you and this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. Where are you, anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Looks like you made some upgrades. Three more targets to go. Two more targets left. One more. That's how it's done. All right, time to fly. I can hear you thumping around up there. Not a basketball or flying disc in sight. We definitely don't have kids. Oh, we have one, and he's stomping around the roof in a metal suit. Anyone for tennis? No, you always win. Oh, come on, we can play doubles. Enjoying the view? We should have lunch out here. I'm not climbing that. I'll carry you. <laughs> It'll be a dark day when I let you carry me wearing that thing. Inspecting the foundations? I should add a secret entrance down here. You know, it's not a secret if you tell me about it. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? Oh, you know I work better with an audience. Let's start with boost. Swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter-inch magnetic articulation seals to the boot thrusters, it can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5%. Okay. Should I be writing this down? No need. I've got a mind like a steel trap. Oh, yeah? When's my birthday? Yeah, I'm sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. the gents. I want to punch something. Fist rockets engaged. Time to throw them and try the other hand. Knockout! <laughs> Just like Happy Hogan Tom. Nice! Time to punch out. Well done, Tony. Did you get what you needed? Or are you going to go again? Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds good. Meet me back here when you're ready. As you know, we have something to celebrate.
Ego has landed. Trapped in a cave, with a gun to your head, and a battery hooked to your heart, really changes your outlook on things. My days of making weapons were over. I was proud of that. More importantly, Pepper was proud of me. Pepper! Downstairs! Better not keep Pepper waiting. <clears throat> hey, Pepper. Can't fault you for staring. Oh, please. I'm just shocked to see you out of the armor. I was afraid it'd fuse to your skin. I'm working on something like that. Oh, wait. That's worth more if I sign it. It's worth more if I sign it. I forge your signature better than you do, Tony. I'm capturing the moment. As of today, Stark Industries no longer makes or sells weapons of any kind. Sounds official coming from you. Have you seen my glasses? I think you left him in the living room. I'm headed up to the Overlook. Grab your glasses and meet me there. We can just catch the sunset. A little mellow for my taste, but right for the occasion. Sometimes to win, you have to quit. There they are. Better way to see the world. Hey, Tony, looks like you found him. I'm waiting for you at the Overlook. Well, don't start the party without me. Just one thing I gotta do first. Pack up the past. Lessons learned, but it's time to turn the page. Ah, the sounds of progress. New garage, new life. Dad always said stick to your guns. Sorry, Howard. We did things your way long enough.
Maybe in a second. I want to take in more of the moment here first. I was a changed man. Pepper was convinced of that. And with her help, soon the world would be convinced of that. The hardest part was convincing myself. My former self. Gotta catch up to Pepper. Candlelit dinner, Tony? You're full of surprises. <clears throat> if you only knew. No silverware? We'll use our hands. Ooh, tapas. Uh, see. <laughs> to start, Palma de Fuego. So... We're not having dinner. Um, not exactly. What? Yeah, huh, right on cue. Stark Industries drones? Combat drones. Last of them. The dregs. I figured they deserve a worthy send-off. If you're gonna blow stuff up, at least move away from the fine china. Put the past in its place. Drone versus Repulsor. Stark versus Stark. Like I always say, Tony, you're your own worst enemy. So what's on the other plate? Codpiece? <laughs> no. Dessert. Something sweet? Bittersweet. Here goes. The gunsmith AI? It's time the old Tony hung up his spurs. you go. Not a fan of my new drones, huh? Well, S.H.I.E.L.D. is hot for him. Director Fury put in a full order. I canceled that order. What? You're shutting me down. Early retirement. You've earned it. Boss, I'm... It's not your fault. I made you to make weapons. Created you in my own image. And now you want to change that image. I want to change the world. So, do I go to the trophy case or the trash? Or your top shelf, pal. I'll keep you around. Suspended animation, but with full internet privileges. Huh. Guess I'll take up surfing. Cool. Gunsmith? But me? Of course I'm cool. I'm him. Well, let's get to it, boss. A life of leisure awaits. See you on the other side. That wasn't easy. I'll take him. 
He was good at what he did. But what he did wasn't good. The world doesn't need another cruise missile or smart bomb. The world needs you, Tony. The world needs Iron Man. Morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday. Have you seen Pepper? I believe she's putting out a fire. Literal or figurative? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should... I'm gonna... Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right, Tony! But here's the thing. I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was going to ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them. That's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world. And I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? Ah! Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over. Remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Hello, Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Incoming! Time to die. Tony! Friday, your airline just lost my luggage. Then file a complaint when we land. Override my safety belt. Pepper, I... I know! Just come back in one piece! Shoot it! Left gauntlet! 
Head inbound. More debris, sir. Chest piece coming in on your left. <sighs> Drones inbound. Friday, where's my head at? In the clouds as usual, sir. The ground's getting awfully close. Heads up! All systems online. Just in time. I got a plane to catch. You cannot run your past, Star. We'll see about that. Can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Sir, we have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> a secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Fire suppression system online. Okay. Lasers thruster works. That's one less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. Sir, the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. Huh? No, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Bulls! messing with my HUD. They've also locked me out of the jet's diagnostics. I have no read on Miss Potts. Pepper, do you copy? Enemies inbound. Pepper! Pepper, come in! Pepper, you okay in there? Control of the jet! Keep the good news coming. Sir, more hostiles en route. Friday, what did I just say? Persistent, aren't they? Pepper, how's the jet? No longer on a collision course with Los Angeles. City Council would be pleased to know that. on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. Get bent! That looks... better. I've located an airstrip for emergency landing. Thanks, Friday. Pepper, you think you can land this bird? Only one way to find out! Doors are malfunctioning. Of course they are. Make a wish. It's all yours, Pepper. Gear is down. Three green. 
Well done, both of you. If no one has any further objections, I say we call it dead. Your old weapons will be the death of you. Sir, I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Good. Trigger finger's getting itchy. Diagnostics are severe. Take cover. All threats neutralized. But I'm sensing our hacker friend has returned. <laughs> Friday? Friday? All systems are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked! Ah! Pepper! It's vanished from radar. I can see that. Get me back online. Systems restored. Tony, nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Pepper, find an exit. Right. <coughs> the fire trapped in the cabin. <coughs> I'm trapped. <coughs> Miss Potts, there's a panel beneath your feet, a compartment. It leads to the nose landing gear. I'll meet you under the jet! Usually, I see the danger before it hits, even from 20,000 feet. But someone got the drop on us. It was 3 a.m. when I left Pepper at the hospital. I had a plan, and I knew she wouldn't like it. I went home, and I woke up the guy who knows my old weapons better than anyone. this once. Hello, old friend. Hey, pal. Where's the party? Wherever you go.
blast from the past. It's a power core from an old drone. You recognize it? Of course I recognize it. I built it. Huh. That's odd. There's no serial number. Where's it from? Hoping you can tell me. Sir, Miss Potts has been moved to a secure location, but her... Sorry, I didn't realize we had company. I'm more like family. Uh, Friday, this is the gunsmith. You should bring me up to speed here, doll. Hey! I'm not a touch screen. Gunsmith, show some respect. Wait, shh, 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 shh. Oh, no. Miss Potts. She's... She's in hospital. And the cowards that put her there? Still at large. Help me find them. Oh, we'll find them, boss. And when we do... that a little early in the morning for power cords Did Gunsmith drag this thing out of storage?
Morning, sir. Morning, Friday. Any update on our enemy's whereabouts? Afraid not. It's that hard light, sir. Our enemy cloaked your old drones in a type of energy we've not encountered before, allowing them to appear out of nowhere. <laughs> So's the neighborhood. Turn that down, will you? Meet me over at your suit when you have a sec. I got a surprise for you. He's passionate. I'll give him that. You have really gone all in on the whole superhero thing, haven't you? Did you find out where those drones came from yet? So serious. And yes. I mean, no. I mean, I will. But I've been thinking. You've built a pretty great suit. But I think I can make it even better. Standing on the shoulders of giants, of course. Pal, I brought you back to figure you out... You brought me back because we're in a street fight. And you know I don't pull any punches. Just take a look. All right, give me the sales pitch. So, I've analyzed your armor and found places where we can make potential upgrades. You can view and customize the equipment in each of these slots by activating their corresponding UI widget. Go ahead, boss. Select one of the auxiliary weapon slots. This virtual workstation is where you can choose equipment to build and integrate into your suit. You can put together all kinds of gunpowder-based goodies here, boss. Let's start with smart missiles. If you want to arm yourself with knowledge as well as hardware, the specs on each weapon appear above the hollow table. For now, let's go ahead and build these. to this stuff, boss, I always say the more the merrier. Equip those smart missiles to your other arm, too. Good thinking, pal. Now let's go see what these beauties can do. It'd be a tragedy not to, boss. But feel free to mess around with your suit some more if you want. And when you're ready, I'll still have you test the smart missiles first. Cause, well, that's how I designed the module.
Trick shot. Oh. Passable. The sweet science. And the gloves come off. Nice hook here. <laughs> hook there. <gasps> Knockout. Clean living, a novel concept. Oh, could have used a spotter. Okay, I'm not Thor. Gonna be sore tomorrow. The armor would make a good ankle weight.
Let's make some noise! What's on the menu today, sir? Gunsmith suggested I brush up on the fundamentals. Oh, did he? That's a surprise, coming from him. But encouraging, I suppose. What would you like to do first? Let's start with Ground Pound. Oh, I love this one! Let me find a good place to test this out. This spot looks good. I recommend you manually engage thrusters to focus on Ground Pound. Give me a target to hit. How do you aim it, sir? I pick a spot, and then make a fist. And... Bam! Another target, please, Friday. I admire your handiwork, sir. That's nothing. Friday, give me nine targets. Nine, sir? Well, someone's feeling brash. I can hit them all if I do this right. Smashing, sir. What's next? Smart missiles. Oh! Something Gunsmith made. Sir, I was under the impression you brought him back to locate the source of your old drones. He's a skilled multitasker, just like me. Indeed, sir. It's just... Well, I thought we were brushing up on the fundamentals and... That's right, Friday. And these wrist-mounted beauties put the fun in fundamentals. So give me a new target. Please. Certainly, sir. Move to position. Okay, these are auxiliary weapons, so hands up, palms down. Got it. Try aiming with your left gauntlet, paint the target, and fire. Whoa! That was pack a punch. Try aiming with your right gauntlet, sir. Paint all of the targets this time. Smith is not messing around. Instead, why don't we review your repulses, sir? Sure, I know these. Hands up, palms forward. You're old hat at this. I mean, I am iron. Beautiful. Let's test weapon switching. Repulsors, palms up, auxiliaries, palms down. Certainly. Yellow for repulsors, red for auxiliaries. All right, Friday. Time to take this show on the road. Satisfied. Huh. Gunsmith got the formula just right. What would you like to do now? Well, we've got a lot of fine ingredients. Let's throw them in the pot together. A cooking class, sir. Excellent idea. 
I'll set up the flight course. Alternate hands to pull off the combo. Excellent. Halfway there. Waypoint results in a penalty. Be sure to hit them all. Excellent shot. That gives a bonus to your performance. But I bet you could break one minute if you try again. No, we should get back to more serious business. Understood, sir. Welcome back, boss. <sighs> Thanks, pal. Friday. What you working on over there? I've put together an early warning system to track our friend from the jet. Have a look when you can. Superior. But unfinished. I'll get back to work on it one of these days.
Hey boss, I've added a dock on the right here where you can select which armor to equip and configure. Your primary or your backup. Enjoy! Got it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Stark Raving, the financial advice podcast the pros, finance bros, and CEOs never miss. I'm your host, Morgan Stark, the man with the money gene, the name that's synonymous with richness, and yes, for those of you only just now checking us out because of my robocall ad campaign, I am Tony Stark's cousin. And Tony isn't the only Stark who knows how to make money. So get ready for an intense injection of invaluable insight straight from the Stark's mouth. Let's jump right into it. Everyone wants to talk about Tony naming Virginia Potts, her friends call her Pepper, because, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why. Anyway, Tony made her the new CEO of Stark Industries, stepping aside to focus on the business of being a superhero. But don't fret, Stark shareholders. Tony's still a big part of the company. 
He just doesn't like paperwork, meetings, the day-to-day -day grind. He grooves on being in his lab, inventing stuff that makes us all rich, rich, rich. And Pepper is exactly the steady hand we need at the helm. We still haven't technically met in person, but her emails telling me they're not hiring, uh, when I ask on behalf of all my listeners, are very economically worded. Oh, and the attack on the Stark corporate jet? Scary, sure. But that's what happens when a superhero runs a publicly traded company. The crazies target him because they know where to find him. Luckily, Tony's also Iron Man, and he handled that situation like the boss he is. No doubt he's got this situation under control. As for Pepper, she is now safely ensconced in a secret location that I totally know about. Wait, if you're Hydra or somebody, I, I mean, I totally don't know about it, purely for safety reasons, you understand? <clears throat> so, she is as safe as your money will be when you buy my Stark Raving Rich online seminar. Now 10% off if you enter the code MORMORGAN. One word. Here's a little freebie. The time to buy Stark stock is now. Sir, I've established a visual of our enemy's MO using their recent attacks on your buildings in London and Dubai. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing a pattern that could tell us where they'll strike hey, hey. next. I got it, boss. Oh, sure, just walk right in. You're more important. Using an unclassified war game simulator, I cross-referenced the jet attack with military strategy dating back to 1743. Then I ran the results through a chess program developed in the 1980s by a Russian agent known only as Victor the Fly. Now, Victor was almost certainly insane. However, whoa, he was whoa. able to... Get to the bloody point! Shanghai. That's where our enemy will strike next. So that just happened. Do you think he's right, sir? When it comes to stuff like this, he usually is. Right. In that case, let me explain the globe. It's an early warning system that displays current threats and can even anticipate new ones. Grab the rotation ring and swipe it left or right to spin the globe to a mission location. Got it. As you can see, Shanghai is currently highlighted. Select it to proceed. Going forward, when choosing a location, you can review the data I've prepared for an upcoming mission. When you're ready, press the deploy button to depart for Shanghai. Back in the day, buying a Stark weapon meant buying a seat at the high-stakes table. My brand put a few countries on the map, and wiped a few off it. Occasionally, our tech wound up in the wrong hands. But nothing like this. Streets are deserted. The city's under curfew, sir. It appears our friend from the jet is making a mess of things. And Stark Tower is on lockdown. Let's check it out. Scanning the tower. Sir, I'm getting some confusing readings. From the tower? I can't locate the source, but it's close. Look out! It's created a gravity well. It's pulling us in. 
That drone seems to defy the laws of physics. And the laws of attraction. It's an old Stark-built Meridian mine. We didn't build it to do that. Sir, its unusual energy signature is still present. Eyes peeled, Friday. I bet there's more around. I've detected a concentration of signals. Displaying now. Sounds like we got something's attention. Around here somewhere. Every time I lock on to a mine signal, it slips away. Detecting new signals emerging near the waterfront. These mines are way too dangerous in a city. We need to get rid of them. Lot of red here. Seat health below optimal, but not critical. Systems critical. Our enemies turned Shanghai into a minefield. Why? Unclear. I'm still attempting to access Stark Tower's security system. Still? I didn't think there was a hacker alive who could keep you out. There's another concentration of mines over the South Bridge. These mines are keeping us busy. A plausible scenario, sir. Well, it's working. We can't just ignore them. More hostiles approaching. Hype, sneaky little combination. One mine nearby. <laughs> suit has been damaged. There are still mines in the vicinity. The suit is failing. Get out of there. Left the search area. We need to find the remaining mines. Huh? Our block party seems to have moved to a new block. The enemy's drawn us away from your building. What don't they want me to see? Sir, look! They're targeting Stark Tower. That's a defensive formation. They're guarding. Friday, what do you bet our mystery friends inside? As I have no gambling protocol, sir, I suppose I'll wager nothing.
few targets remain. If these were human enemies, they'd have the sense to run. Wrap this thing up. Keep your guard up, sir. Active hostiles remain. Critical systems still function, but we are struggling. All clear, sir. You can relax. Schedule my sparring session with Happy. That was all the workout I need. Are we in the system yet? Still locked out. I suggest you come see for yourself. Friday, flashback time. I'm 14, I accidentally set fire to my dad's laboratory. Long story. Anyway, he changes the locks on me. Sir? So I take it as a teachable moment. Learn a thing or two about breaking and entering. Just have to remove this panel. Rip out this wire to disrupt the circuit. Open sesame. Fourteen-year-old me would be so proud. This is getting out of hand. Now I'm locked in my office? Like you said, sir, the drones were protecting whoever vandalized your office. Love what they did with the place. How did they get in? There's no sign of forced entry. Let's check out the computers. They were looking for something, but I'm not sure what. Spoke too soon. Tim Shun. Not in my databanks. Friend of yours? Friday? You get the feeling we're not alone? More than a feeling, sir. I've switched to near infrared, but keep the visible spectrum. There's someone else in here. Electromagnetic traces of their presence all around. Then let's find him. I thought I left this thing unplugged. It is unplugged, sir. In the summer of 2019, a new beacon of strength and prosperity rose above the glistening cityscape of Shanghai. Stop!
Their interest in your building is troubling. Sir? Someone ate my drunken chicken. That's not funny. Expecting a call Friday? The dead are restless. Wrong number. Very wrong indeed. It's quiet out there. For now. Hello? You in there? You know, the gym has showers. That's <laughs> that was unpleasant. More than a dozen people are dead after a drone strike in Sinkari earlier today. Street looks to make a killing. Another black eye. Let me report it. Suggested. Weapons make a total stop. All of which begs the question: When, if ever, will Tony Stark face the music? Tonight. So you got a name, or should I just call you Ghost? My name is unimportant. It is the others. Those whose lives your weapons ended. They are the names you will know before you die. Like Tim Shung? One of many. Yeah. I got no clue who that is. You will. He is with us in this room. We all are. We all are. The silent majority. We want to meet you, Tony Stark. It's time. Join us. Where'd she go? She's not showing up on my sensors, but... What? Incoming surface-to-air missiles. Your repulsors should be able to destroy those missiles. Old Stark hover tanks? She's playing all the hits. Additional tanks en route to this location. Like swatting flies. Get that out of here. Not today. These Director Fury had a standing order for two fleets of tanks before we closed production. Yeah, we miniaturized the turbines to keep the helicarrier flying. 
created a true all-terrain vehicle. A revolutionary weapon fallen into the wrong hands. Story of my life. Flying this high gives us more time to shoot down incoming missiles. Excellent zone defense. Enjoy the flight. If we can stay close to the tanks, we can avoid their missiles. Some damage taken, sir. Slam dunk! Nice shot. I'm starting to think I made the missile targeting system a little too good. Stay vigilant for incoming ordnance. Is that the last of those tanks, Friday? For the moment, the board is clear. Finally. Where's this ghost? Right here. Let's talk power. Not the kind you wield. The kind you yield. These are the headquarters of firms your company employed for the manufacturing and distribution of Stark weapons. Most of those guns, rockets, and bombs were sold to people you never met, to kill people you never knew. She's transmitting some kind of signal. Intercepting. It's an activation code. Since you refuse to die for your sins, Stark, others must die for you. I've locked them on elevators and trapped them in stairwells. Their golden parachutes can't save them now. Can you? Friday? Sir, she's overridden the reactors that power those buildings. I'm detecting catastrophic coolant system failures. We haven't much time. How is she doing this? Scanning for suspicious devices. I'm detecting electrical wiring not in the reactor schematics. Let's see where those wires lead. I think we found one of the devices. Friday, enhance X-ray imaging. To disable the device, you'll need to extract the processor core. Friday, how's our reactor looking? The reactor's no longer overheating, but a cascade failure has begun. We'd better shut it down, fast. Let's see what we got. The correct sequence to shut down the reaction it No time for that. I'll have to brute force it. You... punched it. Why overcomplicate things? Two reactors remain in a critical state. I'm going as fast as I can. That may be unwise. I'm detecting more mine signatures. How many? Too many. Suddenly you care about the building casualties? Sir, there are dozens of people trapped in this building. Show me. That's a lot of people. It's nothing compared to the innocence your weapons are killed. So you keep reminding me. Why are you doing this? You'll see. 
Sir, there are two gateway devices hacking this reactor. Display time to cascade failure. Yes, sir. More hostiles inbound. They'll make disabling the gateway devices difficult. Device neutralized. One gateway left to disable. Follow the wires to the gateway devices. Now we safely shut down. Or punched, I suppose. Hey, we're in a hurry, aren't we? Boom! You are taking entirely too much pleasure in this. I prefer to call it being superheroic. Now for the last one. More mine, sir. We're just gonna have to take our chances. Plan yourself this passion when your weapons rain death and destruction. Damage, sir. Get to the reactor, sir. Time is of the essence. Connected. Iron Man, please remain calm. Last reactor, Friday. The wires, please. Displaying them now. How much time do I have? Not much. Another hover tank, sir. Tell it to come back later. It seems to be ignoring me. A familiar feeling. in the reactor, sir. No pressure. Last one. You move fast when she told you she lied to her stick. And why not? Maybe make me rich. She's accessing the servers in Stark Tower. Let's show her just how fast we can move.
Friday. Tell me no one was in there. Correct, sir. All clear. Interesting, the colors you chose. Red and gold. Blood and greed. They suit you. Oh, good. Here comes another scintillating lecture on social responsibility from a terrorist. Under that armor, you're a frail coward. Powerless. Like your former victims in their final moments. But in death, these victims have power. I speak for them. And on their behalf, we say farewell, Stark. Friday? Get ready. Not rated for combat on this scale, sir. You don't know me very much. Hey, boss! Gunsmith, stay off this channel! Boss, before you left, I packed you a hot lunch. I call it the enabler. My old Junipy? New and improved. Take a memo, Friday. That's how you want to fight. Put a sock in it, dumb smith. Thanks for the stowaway, pal. Just a shame it's one and done. Oh, yeah, little faith. I added an ambient power collector to your chest piece. Harvests the energy given off when a drone goes boom. So blow up bots to charge the unity. Circle of life, boss. Below optimal, but not critical. Unity 
losing 90% charge. Almost there. Unit beam is recharged. Fire at will, boss. To this. Nice work. No surprise, I've known what you need. Got any more, Ghost? Not in stock. Maybe you should close up shop for the night. Sure. I got what I needed. A well earned beatdown? Get your confidential files off your network. Kill you later. How rude. Does the name Tim Shung mean anything to anyone? Not on my end. Friday? Record search is negative, sir. I'll look into it further. Could be Pepper calling. Tony? Pepper, how are you feeling? Like I fell out of an airplane. You sound pretty spry for that. Well, someone broke my fall. You get a name? No, but he was quite dashing. Sharp suit, strong jaw. Hey, boss. He's on the phone, you imbecile. Is that Gunsmith? Oh, hey, Potts. How's the hospital? What kind of drugs are they giving you? Hang up immediately. Boss, when you're done canoodling, I need you to check out something downstairs. I'm sorry, sir. I told him you were not to be disturbed. Where did he come from? The ninth circle of hell, I'm afraid. Could everyone just give us a minute, please? Of course, sir. Good to hear you're in fine fettle again, Miss Potts. Thanks, Friday. Take care. The gunsmith, Tony? What were you thinking? Two Tonys are better than one? You really should have gotten a second opinion on that. Yeah, well, my second opinion was undergoing a brain scan at the time. Speaking of which, I should rest. Be safe. And don't let your worst half torture Friday. And the gloves come off.
What is up with Sunday? Friday? Oh, totally. And she is great, by the way. Sweet. Love the accent. What's your point? She's not like us, boss. Let's face it. She can't build the big guns. If she could, you wouldn't have called me out of retirement. I should be on board AI. Well, Friday is excellent in the field. <laughs> well, obviously. Obviously. I mean, totally. I'm just saying. You know. Think about it, boss. Just show me what you made. Sure. Step right up. What's all this? Know your enemy. It's what you always told me, boss. This station allows you to look up information on drones we've encountered on the battlefield. Grab a drone icon and pull it out of the virtual workstation to view its specs. Rotate the 3D model, or read up on the drone statistics in the windows to your left and right. When you're done, feel free to pull out another drone hologram, or put this one back in the table. This place stays online 24-7, so drop by anytime you're feeling thirsty for knowledge. I'll continue to update the database as we encounter more enemy drones. Impressive stuff. It's why you made me, boss. Ghost really went all in mining our old drones. Hard light, custom firmware, she even gave them new names. Hey, I respect an artist. I have shot down a lot of these. Ghost calls this the Phasm, your garden variety wraith. Phasm? She's got a theme. Yeah, it zips ahead and pelts you with rear shot. Your repulsors chew them like popcorn. You got this. Hey, Friday. Sir? Download Ghost's drone names from the research station for your battlefield reports. She resurrected them. They're hers now. Do whatever, boss. But under her coat of paint, the chassis still says Stark. Ghost calls our old hover tanks Grave Runners. Gotta say, I admire the hard light shields and the heavy anti-air payload. Those are definitely more missiles than our designs carried. Probably double-staggered magazines. They'd explode from friction unless she used thermal microfilaments. You should have headhunted her for R&D, boss. Yeah, well, right now she's the one hunting heads. Ghost put some extra love into customizing these. She even tricked out the hover mechanism, made it more nimble. Guess she likes to tread lightly. What? No? Ugh, for a guy with no kids, you've got a lot of dad jokes. Ghost calls this one the Skull. The way it charges, she definitely wants to bash in mine. It fires up hard light shields when it's ready to bounce. So, you know, watch out for that. Ghost calls this a Grim. Grim sums up my chances of avoiding them. They come out of nowhere. Use your ears and stay on your toes. When you hear them clicking, it's game time.
folks, you've got it straight from Morgan Stark. Stark Industries has never been stronger. Yeah, Tony's Shanghai office headquarters was destroyed, but it was insured and nothing was lost that can't be rebuilt. Sure, some people will say my show is a bit one-sided, which is why I've agreed to talk to a noted naysayer, Dario Agger, CEO of Roxxon Energy and frequent critic of Tony. Dario, what have you got to say? Oh, not much. Just that if your cousin had stayed in weapons development, maybe his Shanghai Tower would have been better... protected? Funny how clean energy can't stop a swarm of combat drones. Well, Iron Man can, and did! Boom! Yes, after the tower was destroyed. Why aren't there a fleet of Iron Men protecting every Stark facility? Because your cousin is an egomaniac, who wants to be a special snowflake, and doesn't want any competition. He's a huge liability for the company's shareholders. Do you own Stark stock, Morgan? You should join up with me, mount a takeover. I'll make you VP after the merger. Really? The, the thing is, I lost my stock in a poker game, so uh, I... I mean, never! I would never turn against my family. Good day, sir. I said good day. Folks, you've got it straight from Morgan Stark. Stark Industries has... N Why didn't you tell me, sir? About? Phony, Tony. There's no record of him in my database. Well, he was sort of a silent partner. <laughs> I'm a genius! Woo! A silent partner? Yeah. With all due respect, sir, I must ask. Do you trust him? No, but we need his help. Of course. No, you're right. Have a look at this, sir. Tell me you found Ghost's location. Still working on it, sir. But I've programmed additional functionality into this globe to better prepare us for her next move. Select a location to proceed. Selecting locations will display a list of relevant missions, including ones you've completed. Nice work, Friday. I've also programmed several flight courses that should help us test your armor's capabilities. Friday, are you afraid of being outdone by Gunsmith? Hardly, sir. In stark contrast to his offerings, mine are about saving a life, namely yours. These courses will help to improve your defensive capabilities. I've designed flight challenges for Malibu, Shanghai, as well as a virtual reality course based on an old decommissioned Stark facility. Flying in VR. Think it'll work? Let's find out, sir. Okay, this works. For this challenge, I've simulated a former Stark Industries weapons silo. I remember this place. Initiating flight test. Make us proud, sir.
Nothing to it. Way there. try. Perhaps you'd like to see if you can improve on it. Welcome home, sir. See me when you can. What is this? Another attack? Thankfully, no. It's the location of the helicarrier Orestia. Director Fury would like a word with you. Nick wants to see me? Why does it feel like I'm being called to the principal's office? S.H.I.E.L.D. was monitoring the events in Shanghai. I believe they have intel to share. I knew Nick would have a good take on our ghost problem. S.H.I.E.L.D.'s the best intelligence agency on Earth, and probably off it, too. But I also knew he'd have questions, even after all these years. Questions about why I quit the weapons biz. Considering what I was up against, the answer felt obvious. Greetings, Iron Man. Welcome to the Arrestia. Look at that. 
As beautiful as the day she launched. I've studied her blueprints extensively. One of your finest designs. Wonder if they kept the Japanese toilets. If you're feeling nostalgic, sir, perhaps a quick fly around? Sure. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Very good, sir. I've marked your HUD with some points of interest. Vapor pneumatic anti-aircraft cannons. Cloud busters. First of their kind. You know your stuff. Remember that at my next performance review. I wonder how the turbines are holding up. Nice to see they upgraded to my Mark V turbine engines. They've added enhanced shock mounts as well. You make me so proud. Stark Resilient Class Propulsor Engines. Twice the horsepower at a quarter the weight. Equipment elevators. Same ones I installed in Avengers Headquarters. Hmm. This hangar wasn't designed for an electromagnetic door. Well, looks like S.H.I.E.L.D. decided to go with the lowest bidder on this one. This ship was my last big number before I quit. Strange to feel proud of what I'll never do again. Making weapons was misspent talent, but talent nonetheless. True. I just wish Nick would quit asking me for an encore. This is Arestia Tower, hailing Iron Man. Hail right back, Tower. You have permission to land. Yeah, I was gonna anyway. Quite the commanding view, sir. That it is, Friday. Where's the guy who commands it? Director Fury's in a strategy briefing at the moment. Maybe a quick look around? No, maybe about it. Dispatch. Password, please. The magnet sticks to what it knows. The needle always gets to the point. Room 17 Alpha, please. Go ahead. Agent 19's requesting backup in the Savage Land. What's the ETA? Mr. Stark, this is a secure line. Oh! Well, I, I know. I was just... Mr. Stark was making sure it is still secure. You owe me one. Check the service invoice. Whoa. I heard Stark built Fury a flying car, but I didn't believe it. Actually, it's an aero vehicle, uh, vehicular... Aero vehicular reconnaissance operational drop craft. Rolls right off the tongue. Ever wonder why they call this helicarrier Arrestia? Mm. Named after one of Stark's old girlfriends. I thought it's cause S.H.I.E.L.D.'s gonna arrest ya. <laughs> no one appreciates the classics. Maintenance 
bay. Can I get a number five? Uh, no tomato. Don't know who you are, but the call box is not a toy. Really, sir? Eyes on your screen. You look like an obsessed fan. Uh, sorry, uh, I've never... What? Seen a superhero in real life? Uh, I just... I didn't think he'd be so... shiny. You think they heard me? This is S.H.I.E.L.D. Of course they heard you. Care for a game? Hey, Nick. I think I'm already in one. <laughs> You're definitely being played. Hard light. Makes these old drones of yours extra hard to kill, Tony. Wish S.H.I.E.L.D. had something like that. Imagine the possibilities. Maybe the ghost will sell it to you. We don't buy tech from terrorists. Suppose we could pirate it. That would justify the eye patch. Why'd you stop selling weapons, Tony? I needed to sleep better. <laughs> Needed to sleep better. Tony, I... Director Fury, new intel incoming. Got it. So this is why you asked me here, Nick? Shield's hard up for hardware? Other contractors stepped up. We're doing just fine. That flip phone says otherwise. This isn't ours, smartass. Belongs to your opponent. Or did. We recovered it from the rubble of one of your buildings in London. I saw one like it in Shanghai. Shield was hoping to scrub some good intel off it. But it's bricked. Won't even turn on. Friday still handling analytics? She was. I called up some extra help recently. Give that to him. Maybe they'll have better luck with it. Director Fury, new screens up on the mid-deck. After you. You know what a ghost is in chess? A threat. More in the mind of the player than on the board. Haunts your judgment. Distracts you. From what? The end game. Shoot it down! It's gone. The batch will break. Like a ghost. There! Destroy it! We're hitting it with everything. Nothing's getting through. Moment of truth to you. Who wins this game of chicken? Her drone or my helicarrier? Tough call, considering I made them both. It's gonna hit us! Off the rappers! Out of the pit! Right for it! I don't need to tell you what to do. I wouldn't listen to you anyway, Nick. Get to it. Start and shield. Oh, 
Ghost, I see you've built a giant cage. Where do you find the time? I hired the help of an independent contractor. Well, you will have to give me their number. Tony, we've detected an approaching unit that's immune to our cannon fire. It's targeting our rear thrusters. I see him. Analyzing new drone. It appears to be a modified Stark Industries heavy attack drone. Ghost has added heavy shielding to the front of it. What are you waiting for? Get in there! Where's the air support? All my jets are boxed in. The ghost hacked the hangar door shut. Copy that. I'll turn them loose. Sir, that could leave you vulnerable to the attacking drones. Sure, but if I don't do it, Nick will go full fury on you. Sir, head immediately to the hangar doors. Let's release those jets. The locking clamps need to be manually opened. Grab the handle and pull to release it. Hell. I've got a history of destroying their catalog. A little elbow grease is all it takes. Group one and Bishop, you're clear for takeoff. Roger. Thanks, Iron Man. How do you change my hangar door design? Did we forget rule number one? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Not broken so much as in need of improvement. Ah, so we forgot rule number two then. Don't mess with perfection. The armor has sustained damage, sir. Breaking an entry. Learn a trick from your friend in Shanghai? I'll bring these jets and get back to just breaking. I promise. Knight and Rook 2. Light him up. Let's get him, Iron Man. Hey, I locked those for a reason. More enemies incoming. They're attacking the carrier's underside. Damaged. Give me cover. I'm going to 
going for the big bruiser. Iron Man is the top. Tony, protect the helicarrier. It's out of warranty, but sure. You're a friend. How about I don't worry about a warranty, and you don't worry about a warrant? Okay, I guess getting shot out of the sky makes you grumpy. Got a spike on my six! on how to take down this cage? Still evaluating, sir. Tony, we've detected explosive devices inside the helicarrier. The ghost's been busy. Friday, give me a location on those bombs. Marking them on your HUD. Son of a... Sensing a trend. The nodes at each end supply power to the core. A blast of refrigerant to each node should do the trick. Time to put these bombs on ice. Cold hands, warm heart. It's working, sir. The explosive core is inert. Remove it and the bomb will be disabled. Excellent. Two to go. You can't disarm my bombs even in your life and time. At least give me a fighting chance, Ghost. Why should I? Did Tim Shun get a fighting chance? Again, no idea who that is, and right now, don't care. share a common interest after all. Go 
Two bombs cleared. Too close. If the ghost doesn't kill you, I will. Just building the suspense, Nick. Detecting a large energy spike, sir. Multiple attack vectors on radar. More? They don't know when to quit. They take after their mate. Throw everything you got at him, Nick. Let's end this. It's an all-out assault. Increasing, sir. Warning, sir. Your suit is in dire shape. Heavy drones attacking the top turbine, sir. is dangerously low.
gets the arc reactor pumping. Sir, my scan of the laser cage is complete. Those spheres generate energy for the entire structure, but they're protected against all forms of conventional firepower. So let's get unconventional. An EMP from a shield jet's Thunderbolt missile could render the node susceptible to your most favorite weapon. My fists? Indeed. Get within scanning range of the spheres, and I'll send targeting information to shield. Target information sent. Thunderbolt missiles away. Get inside the node and punch the core, sir. One node to go. Look at this. Evil seeing evil. Shield will probably give you a medal for your actions to this. Probably. Come to the ceremony. It'd be good to get some face time with you, ghost. Careful what you wish for. Target information sent. Thunderbolt missiles away. might say. Good job, Evan. Tony, looks like those Thunderbolt missiles really came through. Oh, no. Here he goes. Imagine the mess we'd be in if you'd never sold them to me. If I never sold anything to anyone, none of us would be in this mess in the first place. Thanks for the help, Tony. Keep that metal head of yours out of trouble. Where's the fun in that, Mick? Till next time. Ghost was still at large, but the gunsmith AI gave me everything I needed to fight back. Pepper was on the mend. Things were looking up. Or so I thought. At home, a different war was brewing. Are you insane? You are not equipping him with that! Don't you want to win? Yes, but there is a cost to every victory. My god, what are you talking about? To lose one's soul in war is to lose the war. Who programmed you, Gandhi? <clears throat> oh, hey, boss. Sir? Okay, minor family squabble. But I should probably go check on them. Folks, you've got it straight from Morgan Stark. Stark Industries has never been stronger. Yeah, Tony's Shanghai office headquarters was destroyed, but it was insured and nothing was lost that can't be rebuilt. Sure, some people will say my show is a bit one-sided, which is why I've agreed to talk to a noted naysayer, Dario Agger, CEO of Rock... Folks, you've got it straight from Morgan Stark. Stark Industries has never...
I should talk to Gunsmith. Hey, Pepper. Nick says hi. So the meeting didn't come to blows? Of course it did. But they were all directed at Ghost's drones. That's, um, a kind of progress. Nick's a good guy. He's just got a Cold War perspective on things. But I think he's starting to see that changing times call for changing methods. Yes, the modern, sophisticated tactic of punching bad guys with your iron suit. Hey, that's not fair. Sometimes I zap them with repulsors. You see Maria Hill? No, she was in the field. I think Nick's grooming her for his job someday. She'd be good at it. I just wish she thought so. Imposter syndrome. Something I've never had a problem with. The people who should never do. Ouch. At least I recognize that you're a better CEO than me. <laughs> you recognized you hated doing it yourself. Hey, both things can be true. Get some rest, boss. I'll call you soon. I'm sorry, boss. Sometimes it's just like... <sighs> you know? And then I start thinking, this? This is who you replaced me with? <sighs> anyway, what's up? Compliments of Nick Fury. Might be some good intel on there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out. Better see how Friday's doing. I do want to win, sir. I know that, Friday. And sooner the better. Then maybe our house guest can leave. Look, forget him. What did your analysis of the laser cage reveal? Have a look at this. 
My analysis is complete. You were right. The laser cage was familiar. Arthur Park? Now that guy put the mad in Mad Scientist. His laser designs were as unstable and dangerous as he was. But he's dead. Wouldn't let me pull him from his ship before it blew up. Well, sir, then perhaps the ghost has resurrected him. I've detected a similar energy signature in Shanghai. I recommend investigating. Friday, are you still reading that strange energy signature? It's everywhere, sir. But I see no evidence of... Iron Man! Here to witness my ascension? Park, you look different. More alive than I remember. Better than alive. Immortal! I am now the Living Laser! Ugh, still not great at marketing, are you? You tried to kill me but only succeeded in making me a god! I tried to save you. Your faulty tech had other ideas. Ha! My faulty tech is the reason I'm even alive! Oh, really? Because I thought the ghost had something to do with it. We have an arrangement. She's got your laser cages. What do you get out of it? Star drones! Sir, Park is siphoning energy through that node. Perhaps we should investigate. Anyone in that building, Friday? There doesn't appear to be. He's draining the building's reactor. But for what purpose? Once a thief, always a thief. You'll need to destroy that power node with something stronger than your repulsors. Unibeam? That should just do it, sir. Hostiles engaging, sir. No, just no. Don't do banter. For all our sakes. Sir, that drone dropped a power supply. We could use it. Rocket punch the power supply and I'll add its energy to the Unibeam storage. Added significant boost to your Unibeam charge. Well done, sir. You seem weaker, Stark. 
Iron deficiency. Lucky for you, Park, this isn't a battle of wits. Were you'd already be dead. Park is dead. And from his ashes rose the living laser. Some damage taken, sir. Ready, sir. You did it, sir. You, you, you dare. You have a child's attention span, Stark. I trust you'll enjoy the laser show! Pass attempting the same act on another building. Dual power nodes. Excuse me! Seat health below optimal, but not critical. Consider a different career path? Like what? Hair removal, entertaining cats. Possibilities are endless. I'm endless. You're a flying dead man. and ready. Critical systems still function, but we are struggling. by doing nice things. Ha! Fear is a much stronger motive. And far more
Unibeam at full charge, sir. The last of them? I'm afraid not, sir. How nice for me. Shanghai's worked so hard to attract energy companies. What do you need all this energy for, Park? Trying to impress someone? You wouldn't understand. Do your lab rats comprehend your experiments? Stark Industries didn't make this many during our entire production run. Then we must assume Ghost is manufacturing. Your struggle is pointless, Stark. You're just flesh while I'm... Park, that's rude. We're talking through something here. Sorry, Friday. You were saying? That we must assume Ghost is manufacturing drones. Right. But where? I don't know yet, sir. Meter increasing. Damage to your suit, sir. You're siphoning an awful lot of energy, Park. What's the pet project? Omnipotence. Oh, bad news. I trademarked Omnipotence. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Low critical threshold. Unibeam charge increased. You destroyed my body, Stark. Now I'll destroy yours. Sore loser. Sore laser. Taken, sir. Warning, sir. Your suit is in dire shape. Damage increasing, sir. Power added to Unibeam stores. Die! Die! 
Oh, I thought you were all zen now. Guess even gods need anger management. Sit healthy, suboptimal. Well, Park, you tried, and you failed. Story of your life, am I right? My story has just begun. It's yours that will soon end. Painfully. Park's energy signature has... vanished. Over the years, I made my share of enemies. Now, it seemed Ghost was remaking them. Arthur didn't start out life as a white-hot beam of malevolent energy, yet here we are. There's probably a metaphor in there somewhere, but with him and Ghost out to kill me, I didn't have time to ponder it. Flesh and bone. Yeah, inside a freaking bat Yo. suit. Oh, welcome back, sir. You look knackered. Perhaps you should get some rest. Yo, boss. Whoa. You look like hell. You sleeping okay? Since it's unanimous, I just might call it a night. Don't stay up too late. We won't. Good night, sir. That better not be a telemarketer at this hour. Hello? Who's Tim Shung? Oh, hi, Pepper. Good to hear from you, too. Someone hacked our social media account and posted justice for Tim Shung 4,000 times before we took it down. Yeah, that'd be ghost. You two met on the plane? When's the last time you slept? You sound tired. Why does everyone keep saying that?
The ghost calls these revenants nightcrawlers brought back from the dead for revenge. <laughs> so dramatic. Those front shields make it tough to hit head on. Yeah, you just boost around when it fires. Medusa class propulsion keeps it limber enough for security detail, and the flow engine gives it speed for aerial combat. This thing can take down inbound missiles, helicopters, even a full speed jet. Yeah, I'm aware. Too soon. Folks, you've got it straight from Morgan Stark. Stark Industry. I should go to bed. You know the expression, you can sleep when you're dead? I think my dad invented it. Anything about bootstraps or burning the midnight oil, Howard had a line for. But the problem with sleep when you're dead, as I was about to find out, is that the dead don't sleep. <sighs> Friday? Possible intruder. Noisy one, too. Maybe it's just Gunsmith. Not that noisy, sir. I'm here. It ain't me, babe. I don't have a visual, sir, but I'm sure it's Ghost. Get to your suit. That's not good. Time to face the music. She's big on setting the mood, isn't she? Huh. 
I'll investigate the rest of the mansion first. she Boom. you should have stayed in bed so you could kill me in my sleep no thanks <sighs> mind if I slip into something less comfortable I think not Nice antique. Family heirloom. Hmm. I told you your old weapons will be the death of you, Stark. Maybe. But I didn't make that. He made me. she get in here? Sir, look! The phone! It's a jammer. Probably disabled our motion sensors and everything else. <laughs> Which means... that her entire army could be... At our doorstep. Sir, you'd better suit up. Any visual honor Friday? Negative, sir. I never far. Oh, good. We figured you ran away. Then why were you gearing up for war? Force of habit? Friday, what is that thing? Unidentified, sir. Friend of yours? About to ask you the same thing. Security system, boss. Good to see you're keeping busy around the house, pal. Multiple hostiles inbound. I got this. I'll save some for me, bud. Easy enough. So you revived your evil plan. 
I know all about the horrific toys he built for you once upon a time. Hear that? I'm famous. You really outdid yourself. He's exactly like you in every way. Thanks. No, he's not. And every bit is fake. I prefer to think of myself as style over substance. Oh, you sound impressed, Ghost. Inspired. Now I get to kill you twice. Ambitious, considering you can't even kill me once. I'm detecting new energy signatures, sir. Something we've not seen before. Those drones are siphoning energy away from the defense turret. Hey, no fair! Is there anything of mine you won't steal, Ghost? This is cheating, Ghost. Nearly a peaceful transfer of power. Enjoy the show. Front, gunsmith. Any ideas? Hold on, boss. Not much of a choice. Oh, shame. The sun brightly, but burn that quickly. I guess your holographic hell still has plenty to learn. Sir, I patched the wireless access point her drones used to sabotage your suit. Get that disabled turret up and running again if we swap out the battery pack. Friday, do we have any spare power cores? Yes, but I can't recommend this approach. They're highly unstable. We're all highly unstable, Friday. Live a little. Deploying power cores. Against my better judgment. Grab one and fly it over to the turret. I cannot advise you to handle those directly, sir. Then activate magnetic hands, Friday. to me, boss. Over here. The turret. Approaching the damaged turret. Good. Now just fire the power core into the turret's energy halo. physics feel familiar. Ghost's gravity well tech? You know what they say, swipe from the best. Sir, more hostiles en route. Hey boss, special delivery! Why am I not surprised? Economies of scale. The more we make, the more we save. Who exactly are we saving? In case you didn't notice, Friday, my home security system is about the only thing that can put the hurt on Ghost when she goes invisible. Back in business. Tell me, Stark, what do you get the man who has everything? Antibiotics? You take it all away so he can appreciate what he has. Stop trying to spill in the heat! I could use some love. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Ghost is attempting a coordinated attack on the west turret. A break in the action. Sir, use this opportunity to recharge the turrets. Recharged. Nice 
Space Toss Boss! I would be a lot better at carnival games with this grappling hook tech. Almost there, boss! Two waves left! Our enemy has concentrated their attack on the north turret. The armor has sustained damage, sir. Critical systems still function, but we... Ghost is attempting a coordinated attack on the west turret. the drone. Yeah, Ghost is using a double envelopment attack in our east turret. Increasing, sir. Suit systems failing. Evasive maneuvers. Unibeam is online. Stark, and I'll put you to bed permanently. And my boys are thirsty, boss. Charge up another turret! Recharged. enemies I'm reading is off the charts. She's getting desperate, boss.
Minimal damage taken, sir. any more drones. I don't trust that for a second. Recharge those turrets, boss. I have to do better than this, ghost. I completely agree. She's locating the turrets. Looks like Arthur Park's tech. Arthur couldn't make it, but he sends his regards. And his photonic blast shields. We had something good going there, Ghost. You had to ruin it. I need your undivided attention. Regenerating health. Hide in seats for children, Stark. Or are you really just a scared little boy after all? Seat health below opt. Keep dodging her chain attacks, sir. The blaster from the flank! Readings are scattered everywhere. I cannot locate her. Where is she? Gunsmith, got anything? Nothing. Nada. Zilch. I've always stopped you at a distance, Stark. Waiting. Watching. From behind a screen. Lances can phase through rock before hitting the armor. I've got to chase her down on the other side of the terrain. The suit has been damaged. She's too far 
out of range. Close the distance to attack, sir. position with every shot. Find her, boss. Your armor's not repairing itself due to Ghost's hack. Had something good going there, Ghost. You had to ruin it. I need your undivided attention. I'll shut down Stark Industries for good, arms dealer. We make clean energy. Stark weapons are going strong. You just kept them for yourself. Generating help. Get him with everything you've got, boss. Readings are scattered everywhere. I cannot locate her. Where is she? Gunsmith, got anything? Nothing. Nada. Zilch. I've always stopped you at a distance, Stark. Waiting. Watching. From behind a screen. Lances can phase through rock before hitting the armor. I've got to chase her down on the other side of the terrain. Armor damage increasing, sir. Your 
turning Malibu into a war zone. The crimes of empire coming home to roost. My favorite personal problem. She can't even see me, and she's hitting me. Getting shot when you can't see her shooter? Not so nice when the shoe's on the other foot. Sniper boss, get closer to the back. When that armor fails, you fall in the drake even faster than you did before. Keep dodging her chain attacks, sir. Then blast her from the flank. Losers quit, boss. You got this. Ah! You realize I can phase through those rocks you're hiding behind. She's solid for a moment after she launches those chains, boss. So I have to be quick and hit her after she throws them. I mean, if you need it spelled out. Children start. Or are you really just a scared little boy after all? Ditch! Take your toys and go home. I would. But there's just too many of them. Ryder, I need my Unibeam now! Unibeam is offline. Sir, more hostiles inbound. I'm not so tough without those turrets. Says the one hiding behind an army of drones. You are my drones. You can keep them. I got something better. Gunsmith, tell me I got something better. Thought you'd never ask, boss. Check this out. Oops. <laughs> not that. This. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Not that. Ah, uh, not that either. <laughs> no. Oh, hey, hey, good times. But no. Here we go. For the record, this is a bad idea. Hope you're wearing sunblock. Oh, no. <laughs> this is for Pepper! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! Enough! Gunsmith! Enough! Sir, that stunt knocked out power to half of Malibu. Capsized every boat from here to Catalina. We're lucky we didn't kill anyone. Did I deliver or what? We may have gone too far. This is funny to you. Well, I mean... Oh, come on. Look around. 
Who do you think you work for? We're Tony Stark, merchants of death. We're cut from the same cloth. You were stitched together from a white flag. Gunsmith, stop it. Maybe. But I know what's right and what's wrong. What's right is winning. What's wrong is you. Hey! That's it. I'm out. I want no part of this. Friday, wait. Let it go. Good luck with all that. Out with the new, in with the old. Forget it, boss. We got work to do. Hello? Hey, Tony. How are you? I'm fine. You don't sound fine. It was a long day. It's 8 a.m. What's going on there? Nothing. Did something happen? Ghost? Got away. Hey, You'll boss! catch her. Boss! Boss! Hang on, Pepper. What? If the cops come by, let me talk to them, okay? Pepper, I, I, I gotta run. I understand. Tony, remember who you are and why you're doing this. Friday was out, the gunsmith was in, and I was in deep. You can't fault someone for thinking the only way out is forward. So I pressed on, in the wrong direction. Head to the globe, got an update for you boss. Morgan Stark here, welcoming you back to Stark Raving, where we are Stark Raving mad about Stark Stock, which lately Daylight's is away, just up on quads after a Sing squad at the globe. session. Why? Kidding? Because some people noticed my cousin dropping some Mondo firepower lately, and it's led to rumors that he's back to making weapons. But you might be surprised to hear me say this. Don't get carried away. Knowing my cousin, he's got exactly one client for these inventions. Himself. Wait, that sounds selfish. What I meant is, technically, his client is the world. As in, he uses these weapons to save us all. Don't get me wrong, Stark Stock is a great blue chip investment. But we don't want to create a bubble based on idle speculation. Unless he does start selling this stuff. In which case, feel free to bubble like the champagne I'll be bathing in. <laughs> okay, apparently no one's interested in getting rich as a Stark. Because all my callers want to talk about today are the giant laser beams that blasted the Malibu coast near my famous cousin's home. Now look, I realize coastal elites get their ascots in a bunch when their yachts are capsized and the power's knocked out for a few hours so their caviar goes bad. Boo frickin' who? First of all, you know my cousin has this under control, right? He's Iron Man! Secondly, 
I'm sure there was some collateral damage to the environment, but can I remind you that Tony was fighting a criminal psycho who would have gladly carpet bombed Bel Air if my cousin hadn't zapped her with that Mondo laser? This is why he lives in such an isolated location in the first place. Because he's a target for these wackos. So get a perspective and go swimming in your money bins, you 1% parasites! Hmm. Head to the globe. Got an update for you, boss. I could handle more. Fancy seeing you here. What have you got? The world at my fingertips. Check this out. Any of these hotspots lead us to Ghost? Nah, complete radio silence from her. But check it. I put together some combat challenges for you. Nothing basic about this training. Our enemy's still out there. And we'll find her. In the meantime, why don't you let off some steam? Come on. Go blow stuff up. You'll feel better. Ghost calls these whites some kind of prankster spirit. I'm not a fan of their sense of humor. They set you up for a great punchline when their energy draining beams snag you. If they want the iron suit so bad, give it to them. Go ahead swing it. Looks like Ghost mounted a ventral draining beam to the undercarriage. Probably courtesy of Arthur Park. The laser's cool, but her integration into the chassis is masterful. Quite a team. These stole the showroom floor back in the day. Sleek, powerful, the sports cars of UAVs. Who needs branding when you got style?
Bill gave us clearance to play around the helicarrier again. Let's give these pilots some inspiration. Time trial's up! Attack power boosted. Damage, boss. around the old helicarrier. Drones inbound. Don't know when to pull.
take better care of the suit. good, but when have we settled for that? Let's go again. The gunsmith was helping me in the field, but he was helping himself even more. As my arsenal grew, so did his ego. And I had to wonder, would this have been me if I had never ended up in that cave? No time to waste, boss. See me at the Globe when you can. VIP security drones were all the rage in our weapons-making heyday. I wanted them to seek and neutralize threats, but you made them reactive. They're security. The bear sleeps until it's poked. But I'm telling you, boss, the best defense is a good offense. Hey, boss. Good news incoming in five, four, three. As it turns out, our friend Arthur Park is sloppy. He leaves behind a trail of photonic residue wherever he goes. Now, it's not entirely his fault. He is, in fact, a living laser, and as such, it can be difficult for him to maintain a low profile. However... Spare me the back of the napkin. Okay, okay. Using our infrared satellites, I discovered Park's unique energy signature. Here. It's a Roxxon mining facility. Roxxon? You think Park is working with one of my competitors? No! He's working with Ghost. They're planning a heist. 
My orbital laser wiped out half her army. She'll need more drones. To build more drones, she needs... Palladium. Exactly. And Roxxon's sitting on the mother load. Hmm. Grab your gear, boss. Let's go crash their party. All right, it's killing time. Hey, we're not killing anything, you hear me? Ugh, you're killing my buzz. Listen, Gunsmith, I need you steady and on point out there. Uh, look, boss, I talk a lot because that's how you built me. But at the end of the day, I got you. We're cool. Morgan Stark here, welcoming you back to Stark Raving, where we are Stark Raving mad about Stark Stock. Systems check. Stand in our servos. Nothing I can't handle. We should be coming up on the Roxxon mining operation. Keep the collateral damage to a minimum. Oh, seriously? Roxxon will sue Stark Industries. Pepper doesn't need that hassle. Well, gee, mister, we're only trying to apprehend a terrorist and her thieving cohort, but shucks, we best not break anything. Just watch it, okay? Here. Your partner in crime is sloppier than a soup sandwich, Ghost. Hate to say it, but Arthur Park glows in the dark. I told you, Park's dead. It's living laser now. Park, don't you have something you should be doing? Stealing palladium? <laughs> How utterly predictable. Hurry up, Park. I can't hold it much longer. Mark's levitating the Palladium cargo containers. If he takes them up into the storm, we won't be able to track him. Let's take him down. Boss, if that cargo enters the sandstorm, we won't be able to reach it. Seems like that did the trick. Cargo's loose, boss. Not for long. Warm up the magnetic gauntlets. I'll take this. Ooh, good catch, boss. We can seal the cargo containers in the mines. I've hacked the automated cargo mover to deposit the container in the mine. Oh, I can just see the angry letter from Roxxon's lawyers now. How dare you secure our property from theft? Park, what's going on? I've got this. Just have to focus! Do it already. The drones will keep Stark busy. You're wasting your time, Iron Man. You can barely disrupt me, let alone destroy me. Laser has a point. We can just pull his photons back together. If it takes him a few moments to reform, we can work with that. So it's damaged, boss. Boss, that cargo enters the sandstorm and won't be able to reach it. 
Cargo is free. Burst is bubble. Yoink. Touchdown! This the last of the palladium? It looks like it, boss. Rest is just unprocessed ore. Let's lock it up then. If you can close that mine door, we can seal it shut. I've focused your repulsors to work as a welding torch. Fuse the doors and seal the mine. This'll keep Ghost from hacking it open again. Gotta fuse the doors together so Ghost can't open it. He took out your drones, Ghost! Yeah, I can see that, Park. We're moving on. There's another depot down the canyon. We'll get what we need there. You really don't know when to quit, do you? I'll quit when you do. Pick up the pace, Ghost! They're gaining on us! You're the reason they found us in the first place. Wow, they are like an old American. Dodge this! Park's at it again! Another chance for Ghost to get the palladium she needs. Ghost! I don't think this temp you hired is working out. Stand down, Park. These guys aren't as tough as I remember. Maybe with me, they're just better. That Grave Runner could be a problem. She steals my design and slaps her own name on it. If I had eyes, I'd be going so hard.
that burst of trouble. Good catch, boss. This temp you hired is working out. Yeah, that's enough sports metaphors, pal. How is Stark beating you, Part? First of all, it's living laser, okay? It's frustrating having to belabor that point. Second, this takes a lot of concentration. What's wrong, laser? Feeling lightheaded? <laughs> Good one, boss. Keep it up, Stark. Tell me Stark is dead. We are Iron Laser now! Uh, what channel am I on, boss? Are they getting all my witty retorts? Get a beans charge. Any more palladium here? Nada. These chumps are leaving empty-handed. Let's seal the mine. up tight. This isn't working. Change of plans. Where are Ghost and Laser now? Rabbiting us, boss. Chase him. You sure do ruin everything, Stark. Another satisfied customer. Park, you're too close. Stay back. Stop shouting orders at me, Ghost. I'm not your lapdog. It is so hard to find good help. Feel the power of a vengeful god! That's enough, Iron Man! What's she doing? Making a break for her! Don't let her out of sensor range! Stay on her! I'm trying. Well, her. Loser here, we lose. She's opening up the throttle, boss. Surrender now, I'll make sure your cell has a window with a view. I'll get real. She won't let herself be taken alive. Your narcissistic projection is correct. I'd rather die and take you with me. Oh, good. She can hear me. I wonder how the markets will react to your death. Will they mourn or will they cheer? You 
traveled a long way from home to steal Palladium. Like I tell you where home is. Huh, I thought that would work. Roxxon's one of your biggest competitors. You should thank me for targeting them. I don't care who you're targeting, you're putting lives at risk. Do this away from innocent people. You are the one forcing this fight. Be a real hero and don't poke the bear. She calls in another grave runner. Your can't take much more. Caffeine's charged. Ghostly after all. Stop me. You can't hurt me. This time. What a bet! Gunsmith, wait! Sorry, boss! Stick away! Fuck! 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 Stop! What did you just do? What had to be done? Damage assessment on the dam. Really? Fine. Some structural damage, pressure exceeds sustainable levels, blah, 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 blah. We need to relieve the pressure. We need to take out Ghost. You should have thought about that before you got all trigger happy. If we can get into that control room, we can open the sluice gate and relieve the pressure. I have to get this big door open. Huh. There's a chain attached that'll lift it. Let's start. First, I need to get this thing out of the way. Gunsmith, anchor my feet. <sighs> Magnetic boots engaged. Doors open. Now I just have to lift that sluice gate. Who cares about the dam, boss? It's Roxxon's problem. I care about the hundreds of workers who will lose their lives if this canyon floods. Uh, start a disaster relief fund in their memory. It'd be a relief if you didn't start a disaster in the first place. Wow, that actually worked. It'll hold until Roxxon can get some engineers out here. We can still catch her. Let's go. We need to have a serious talk. I agree. I miss you, boss. Not the Iron Man, the real man. You were a lot more fun before your conscience got in the way of your aim. How are you still here? <laughs> Good title for our memoir, right, boss? Uh, boss? You won't catch me, Stark. That's not how this ends. If you were gonna get away, you'd have done it by now. Boss, my sensors have limits. We have to stay close to her or we lose her. Look who's back! Park? What are you doing? Why you failed to do? Destroy him. 
You're destroying the last of my drones. Boss, watch out for laser! Can't afford to lose her here. I gotta catch up. Miss me. She's flooring it. His component photons are still out there, bouncing around that sandstorm. That was reckless. Thank you. Now, in case you didn't notice, Ghost is getting away. Not this time. There she is. This round's on me. Hold your fire. Sorry, boss. She brought a knife to a gunfight. Destruction and collateral damage. Now that's the Stark I know. She's got our number, boss. No, she doesn't. Back off! You're getting in my way. You're getting in mine! Ghost would be toast by now if you just let me do this my way! I said stand down! When we get home, you're getting an update. You can't cut me off, boss. You need me this way. Her suit's gotta be low on power, and I think we have her trapped. She can still hide from us. Yeah, until her air runs out. I doubt that suit lets her breathe solid rock. I'm done hiding. That's a lot of ghosts. I'm scrambling my sensors. Can't tell which ones are real and which are holograms. I know a way to find out. She can't move or else she'll tip her hand, boss. Once you find her, you'll have a clear shot. If you find her. yet. Whoa! When you blast the copies, resonance is traced back to the origin point, which you do anything to silence me. To bring you to justice. Hypocrite. Kinda got my hands full here. Not to worry then. You'd 
beam is good to go. run off to. I'm reading a weak signal nearby. The mask. Toss it. Ghost? We got her dead to rights, boss. She's surrendering. Then she's a fool. Hey, hey! We are not killing her. You don't have to do anything. Hey! Pal! Still doing this for Pepper? Stop! Pal! Stop! You let her escape! I gave you an order! She deserves to die! Where's your hollow projector? Oh, I upgraded to a spatial light modulator. You're always talking about self-improvement, so I decided Enough! to... Gunsmith, you're fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. I quit. See you on the other side, jerk. <sighs> I'm back! And I'm alone. That's right. Maybe I'll give Pepper a call. She always cheers me up. This is Virginia Potts. I can't take your call right now, but leave a message and I'll get back to you. Well, I am hungry. Perhaps a bite to eat. Oh, empty. Guess Friday always handled the grocery orders.
still superhero work to be done. I'll check out the globe. Doesn't anything work around here? Who are you talking to, sir? Myself. The slightly more mature version. I see. And where's our loose cannon? Uh, Ibiza? Who the hell knows? I thought an AI based on my old self could somehow do the right thing. Maybe, sir. But you're a changed man. Changed enough to have made me not based on you. Or perhaps based on the man you want to be? Well, actually, you were based on an old babysitter. Then she must have been quite special. Yeah. When I was a kid, she was the only grown-up I could trust. Then I hope I've earned your trust as well, sir. <clears throat> Friday, I owe you an apology. Maybe more than one. I'll put it on your tab. In the meantime, there's a world that needs saving. Why'd you come back, Friday? Because I know what happens when you're left to your own devices, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. Speaking of that, what's going on here? It's Living Laser. He's attacking S.H.I.E.L.D. But Park's brazenness might be to our advantage, since he practically glows in the dark. If I can calculate his energy's rate of decay, I can pinpoint the exact time and place of his origin. We find where Park was reborn, there's a good chance we find Ghost. What do you need from me? Give him what he wants, sir. Fight him. got here quickly. Clearly you're tracking me. One might say, obsessed. I'd say, laser focused. Friday, catch me into the comm tower. Maria, everything okay on your end? Hey Tony, afraid we got a bit of a nightmare scenario. Arthur Park has himself a laser with global targeting abilities. Don't know what we did to get on his bad side, but he's targeting us. I'll wreck this helicarrier and make its husk my church! This isn't gonna happen on my watch. Let's get him, Tony. Mark still has a lot of drones at his fingertips. Surprised the ghost let him keep them in the divorce. Speaking of fingertips, sir, Park's energy signature is all over these drones. If you destroy them... Then you can source his rate of decay back to its origin point? Precisely.
ready. Damage to your suit, sir. Clark, I see you're graduating from theft to wanton destruction. Not wanton, with good reason. The world must learn to fear me. Oh, sorry, I had you all wrong. A totally sane mode. I've added a sample collection meter to your HUD. The more drones you down, the more we can fill the needed sample size. Park's energy signature is collected by your continued attack on those drones, sir. Increasing, sir. Widespread suit damage. We need repairs. Suit health below optimal, but not critical. But she held me back. Now nothing can. Unibeam is charged. <laughs> you are good, Stark. But you're only one man. You can span the globe at the speed of light, as can I! Others will feel my divine wrath. Just try to stop me! Iron Man, Shield Jet Tango Oscar Sierra requesting assistance. He's trapped a pilot, sir. Fight off part to free that Shield Jet. <laughs> Your direct attack on Park resulted in a swift increase in our sample size. Well done, sir. I take no pleasure in it, Friday. I'm doing this for science. Oh, yes, of course, sir. Oh, we'll see my victory. Enemies inbound.
damaged. Woo. Keep at it, sir. I'm gathering quality data this way. is suboptimal. again. Freeing that shield jet will secure us more of his energy signature. I'm on it. No! Much obliged, Shellhead. We've made great progress, sir. Just a few more drones to gain us enough of a sample. Except he's running out of them. We may need a different approach. Some damage taken, sir. It's below critical threshold. Below optimal, but not critical. Almost there. Only a few more to go. That's my concern. I'm 
damaged. Admit it, Park. This is all about ego. You want to make a name for yourself. I already did! The living laser! Huh. I have only myself to blame for walking over that way. Stint health is suboptimal. Systems. We can't take much more. Do I hear the sweet sound of sin? Worship me, and I may show mercy. Shut up, Park. Get this creep for shield, Tony. Some damage taken, sir. Signature. Looks like he gives us no choice. I only need to hit a single structural weak point to bring that entire flying fortress down. He's firing blind, sir. Stay moving. We can't afford to get hit. Normally I'd agree, but he seems to be missing me and the helicarrier by a wide margin. True. He is quite lousy at his job, isn't he? Sir, another shield jet is caught in one of Park's laser cages. Nah! Good work, Iron Man! Did we get it? Was it enough, Friday? Not quite, but we're so close. Hill! Move your jets into position. That's what I'm talking about. Care to fill me in on this plan, sir? You saved your friend. But my victory is inevitable. No one can stop a god! Await my return with fear and trembling. What kind of god runs away when he's defeated, Park? Park? Living laser! You... You called me by my name? Hill, now! Fire those EMP missiles! Everything you've got! Sir, Park's photonic presence seems to have entirely vanished from Earth. It's as if he's up and quit. Then he's brighter than I gave him credit for. What's more, I've collected enough of his energy signature to trace it back to his place of origin. Sir, we may finally be able to bring the fight to Ghost's door. Good work, Friday. Heading home.
Friday back on board, I felt a renewed drive to catch this ghost. Which hadn't happened yet because I'd left it up to you-know-who. The gunsmith had a knack for predicting where ghosts would show up, but he had no interest in figuring out where she came from. I did. Sir, see me at the Globe as soon as possible. Ghost calls these the Phasm, another ghost. Why would a vigilante avenging the dead see herself in her enemy's weapons? I suspect transference. She sees the victims of your weapons in your weapons. Pity becomes rage, helplessness becomes power. And a villain is born. Ghost increased the tank's hover lift to protect the ground from exhaust heat. Why would she do that? To minimize collateral damage. For Ghost, every battlefield is holy ground, and the only grave she wants to run over is yours. Ghost has stripped back the Skull's targeting suite. Its protocol is still security, but she's permitted all but one bogey to approach. Let me guess who. Gunsmith's plans show the original Revenant didn't have an energy charge function. Ghost disabled its particle spray attack to divert all power into a single concentrated blast. So that Death Stare prevents collateral damage. Yes, though she's definitely giving you the evil eye. Ghost limited the range of the Grim's gravity well to the mine's circumference. So the mine only damages what it touches. Is that a hint of respect, I hear? I wouldn't call it respect, but game recognizes game. Ghost appears to have modified Park's laser design before mounting it to the white. Modified how? She dampened its emissions so it drains energy rather than cutting matter. She changed it from a killing weapon into a tool. A gentler touch. Park's more heavy-handed. I mean, he named himself Living Laser. Enough said, sir. Thanks to you, I was able to determine Living Laser's origin point. By now, it contains only the faintest trace of his energy, but I'm certain he was there once. You think it's Ghost's operating base? It's quite possible, sir. That's great. What are we waiting for, Friday? Show me our new destination. That's just it. It's not... entirely new. Do you recognize it, sir? Yeah, I recognize it. It's the cave. My origin point. Birthplace of Iron Man. 
Perhaps Ghost has gone somewhere else by now. Moved on. No. She hasn't moved on. And she doesn't want me to either. You're listening to Stark Raving, the show money would listen to if money had ears. We've got a special return guest who specifically asked to come on. Dario Agar, CEO of Roxxon Energy. Mr. Agar, I assume you're here to personally thank the Stark family after my cousin Tony saved Roxxon's palladium mine from complete and utter destruction. I think you mean did enough damage to shut it down for weeks, Morgan, costing Roxxon billions. Pretty convenient, don't you think? Considering Stark and Roxxon compete for energy contracts. Are you freaking kidding me? If Iron Man hadn't been there, that mine would be shut down permanently. He saved it from Ghost. So he says. All our eyewitness reports indicate is that there were explosions, ray blasts, and bursts of energy everywhere. Uh, listen, Agar, your people would sell their grandmothers to the salt mines for an extra buck, and they learned that from watching you. You're a dinosaur, pal, and my cousin is the asteroid. Well, that sounds like a direct threat from the Stark family that Tony Stark is out to make us extinct. And judging from the big smiles on the faces of my lawyers, they agree. <laughs> Thank you for giving us the basis to sue Stark Industries, Morgan. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> uh, as if Tony cares. He's got more lawyers than he has mustache hairs. You know what? Bring it on, pal. And uh, if any of Tony's lawyers are listening, call me, okay? My lawyer's not available. Well, technically disbarred. <laughs> You're listening to Stark Raving, the show money would listen to if money had ears. We've got a special return guest who's... My first armor, the Mark I, is unique in several ways. First, it was the only armor I ever built in a cave. Second, I had help. His name was Ho Yinsen, a doctor who found himself trapped with me in Afghanistan. Third, third, it wasn't enough. I built my suits to save others. With that one, I could only save myself. Do you think she was here, sir? Looks like it. Then again, this place has seen a lot of ghosts. Your Mark I armor? It's here? I left it in pieces in the sand. Apparently she's... put it back together? In the creepiest way possible. I don't like this ghost one bit. Jericho Missile. The ones who held me captive wanted me to build these. I went a little off book. 
Shockingly, no evidence ghost tampered with this. Let's stay on point. Never had a good night's rest here. No sign of ghost either. It's best we keep looking. Jensen took a lot of notes. Your pulse has quickened, sir. This must be a lot to take in. This is where I had my change of heart. Literally. I never was one for schematics, but Jensen. His sketches were something to behold. Sounds like you admired him a great deal. You know what they say. Learn from the best. Wonder if his sketches are still around here somewhere. One of Jensen's old drawings. Another technical draft. That's the last of them. Classic design, sir. Pure. True. But a dinosaur compared to my latest. That wasn't here last time. She must be close if she left. Sir? I can't move. Your suit's hydraulic system and motion controls are under attack. <sighs> so I'm trying to reverse the circuit override. Hurts. Doesn't it? My feelings? A little. I thought we were coming for it. You were saying? Sir, I'm routing all auxiliary power to primary functions. I'll try to numb your pain receptors. <laughs> fake heart. For a fake hero. So this cragged womb is a birthplace of Iron Man. Prepared that you should crawl back into it. Only to die. Friday. I need to get moving. Now! Nearly there, sir. Accessing backup power. Motor functions restored. But your suit is running on fumes. Without my arc reactor, so am I. Sir, your vitals are failing at an alarming rate. There may be enough around here to jury-rig a new arc reactor. I can build a replacement at this workbench. I'll bring whatever I find back here. The Jericho missile? It contains a palladium-based capacitor. Palladium? Like your arc reactor? 
Can you build an energy source from it? I did once before. We need a spark. Something to get this capacitor started. If I don't figure out something fast, this will be my deathbed. A coffee thermos. I can use that. Is there any left, sir? Not a latte. Honestly, sir. Even in your weakened condition, you're- It's not the coffee I need, Friday. It's this. I'm afraid I don't follow. Keep watching. You'll see. Against all odds, that battery appears to have some life left in it. Just like me. Let's use it. Now we can transfer a charge to the capacitor. You did it! The capacitor's charging! Let's hope this works. You built it, sir. It's going to work. You're not just placing it directly into your chest, are you, sir? Won't fit. I need something to hold it in place. Ah, that's why you needed the lid. Quite clever, sir. It's working, sir. Vitals are stabilizing. Good. Now we escape. Sir? No! Now you escape death by staying still and conserving energy. No one's coming to rescue us. And Ghost is getting away. I don't know about you, but I'd rather die out there than in here. What exactly are you suggesting, sir? I'll blast away that rubble with a unibeam. This could get messy. You can be really stupid sometimes, sir. If you don't mind me saying. Stupid's better than dead. Well, that worked, huh? Perhaps too well, sir. Now even your reserves are nearly spent. Weapon systems are offline. Thrusters are at minimum. Actuator power severely reduced. You need energy. Friday. What have you got? Lots of interference. We're not alone. Don't remember these caves going this far back. 
Terra cells often choose deep cave networks to fall back into. Must have shut themselves off when they heard the suit coming. I wasn't hunting them. Just wanted to get home. I'm sensing a trend. We'll get you home yet. Welcome to your trial, Stark. Maybe you thought you couldn't fall any further. Energy to repulsors. Energy spare. Aim well. Better make this count. We don't have much power. Aim carefully. <laughs> Still the same will to live. But make no mistake. This time, you'll die in this cave. She's gone. I sense her up ahead. We're free from the energy chains. Route power to the thrusters. Gotta get... That arc reactor back. Sir, firing repulsors is costing you valuable energy you cannot afford to spend. Something up ahead. A charging port of some kind. Maybe I can siphon energy from it. of stark built weapons. Those are the names that matter. When I'm done, those names will be carved into the flesh of their attackers. Oh, sorry I asked. Do you have a name? Tim. Sean. What's your real name? That's it. Who uses their real name on the dark web? Someone with nothing to lose.
Friday. Look. Her drone manufacturing plant. At this pace, she can't possibly replenish her drone army. Her resources are down to the dregs. I know the feeling. This is welcome news. Let's celebrate later. With the powered suit. Stolen Stark Industries hardware. Old weapons tech. We let too much slip away. Iron is strong. The prayers of rage are stronger. You first. I have info to share. If I can trust you. Damning stuff. This company did things you can't even imagine. Try it. suffering because you were kidnapped. Even in that cave, you were VIP. You knew they wouldn't kill you. If you'd been anyone else, you'd have bled out on the sand. We little people don't do well in a war zone. We're reduced to platitudes. Acceptable losses. Civilian casualties. Humanitarian crises. All just fancy words for meat that used to be people. Before your cutting edge weapons supply their cutting edge. Not again. Let's see how well you fight surrounded. All power to repulsors. It's a pincer attack. I've got to watch my six. <laughs> we'll delay the inevitable. She's fled again. Let's go. She's got to be tired of running. These doors are locked, sir. Let's double back. Stark Industries is going to have me killed. Don't say that, Tim. The day I blew the whistle on is the day they drew a target on my back. I won't let them hurt you. I'll bring them down first. 
my sweet revolutionary. You're so beautiful. I don't deserve you. You've never even seen me. Trust me, you wouldn't want to. Scars don't make you ugly. It's what's in your heart. You're in my heart, Tim. Sir, step between their swings. I hope that's the end of that. That arc reactor. Exhibit A, Costa Verde 2018. Amid civilians' protests, star missiles rain down. A rebel group invades the capital and openly engages the National Army. Casualties number in the thousands. Your company's stock rose 6% in just the first week of that conflict. The child is orphaned. One of many. She becomes a ward of the state. The same that murdered her parents. They give her the name Michelle. But I never liked that name. weapons did to you. You don't want to know. I need to. I was only a child. There was a war going on in my country. But not my war. I didn't choose sides. Until that day.
Your kidnappers just wanted to cut out the middleman. They were going to use your weapons one way or another. The fee you charged to suspend your impetuous principles. You were a coupon. Were you offended that they had the nerve to ask you directly? Instead of going through the usual layers of possible delay delay. That's unsettling. are draining your armor's power. Gotta push through. Let go of me. Back off. Finally. until Tony Stark's paid for what he's done. I love you, Michelle. I love you. Helpless as an infant. Crawl like one. She's getting away with the arc reactor, sir. Keep moving. Grovel, Stark. Approach me on your knees. I admire your perseverance. But the defense should rest. It's my turn again, and I have just one more thing to show you. Soon after your change of heart, an employee of yours planned to go public with your dirty little secrets. You had him killed to protect your image. Exhibit B, the smoking gun. I... I didn't... Tim knew you'd try to silence him. So he made sure your secrets didn't die with them. Designs, mission reports, back doors into your security. This is... revenge? <laughs> revenge? No. You're a war criminal. And accomplice to other war criminals. I'm not interested in revenge. Only justice. Rise for the verdict. The dead find you guilty on all counts. The living won't find you at all.
Friday. I'm here. Can't reach it. Broken. It can be mended. How are you doing that? Friday, where did you go? I'm here, sir. In your heart. There. <sighs> All systems back online. It's time to be a hero, sir. Any sign of ghost? Nothing, sir. But this must be where she resurrected Arthur Park. These voltaic wells match his energy signature. How do we get out of here? You don't. Is this where you brought back Park? All the dead find their way here. You included. How did you build all this? Sweat and tears awaiting your blood. Armor. Most systems offline. Rocket punch is still active. She's stunned. I bet I can disable her suit if I throw her into those voltaic wells. Brilliant, sir. Magnetic gauntlets online. Disrupted her phasing system. It's the palladium. It's too good a conductor, overcharging her circuits. Let's do that again. We'll end you. You have every right to be angry, Ghost, but it's consuming you. It'll be your death, not mine. As long as I take you with me. Alive. 
You know, killing me won't make you feel any better. I don't feel anything anymore. Her phasing tech must be toast by now. Where did she go, Friday? Locating her now. She's trapped. Marking it on your HUD. She's losing her phasing ability. If she rematerializes in the wall, she'll die. I'm trying to save you! Get away! Give me your hand! Do it! It's over, Ghost. It's finally over. I thought catching Ghost would be the highlight of my day, but catching a glimpse of Pepper as I stepped onto the helicarrier put my heart in the clouds. Sounds like I missed quite a party. I'll tell you all about it over dinner. I'd love that. We have something else to discuss. Oh, really? Transferring executive power at Stark Industries involves a lot of paperwork. Paperwork? We could be up all night. That's not that much. Ooh, now you're turning me on. <laughs> Look, no offense, but the reason I made you CEO is so I wouldn't have to do paperwork. The board says you made me CEO because you're better at running your mouth than you are at running a company. Hello, sir. Ah, oh, thank God it's Friday. The prison has been placed in her cell. If you wish to say goodbye, now's your chance. We'll be right up. Pepper, we can avoid talking about this another time. Want to meet the ghost? Sure. I love chatting with people who try to kill me. We might make a superhero out of you yet. Oh, look, it's the ultimate power couple. Why'd you do it, Stark? Why'd you save me today? After all the lives you've taken, you spare mine. You need to pay for your crimes. I'm still paying for yours. And I'm broke. I'm sorry for what happened to you. The others? 
Tim Sheng? Who was he? A real hero. Not the kind that cowers inside a metal suit. He spoke truth to power. And for that, your company had him killed. Stark Industries never had anyone killed. <laughs> wow. She's a funny one. So this is justice. They throw me in prison and throw you a parade. Actually, I don't think the city council's too happy with me. You'll never change, Stark. Even if you tried. It's too late. Your past has caught up with you. And one of these days, it'll take you down. I want to be there when that happens. If you're not, I'll give you the play-by-play -play when I get to hell. See you on the other side, then. That sounds familiar. See you on the other side. Something your friend used to say. Tim Shung. Formerly. Back in the day, Stark Industries would... We would arm both sides of a conflict. We called it hedging our bets. Soulless. What about it? Tim Shung. Tim Shung. Is he... Gunsmith? Tony. Tim Shung, the name. It's an anagram for gunsmith. What the hell's the gunsmith? Mr. Stark, please report immediately to the map table. Mr. Stark, please report to the map table. Tony, get your ass over here now! Stark orbital lasers. Someone's reprogramming them. Given their trajectories, they'll be over the world's largest cities in the next five hours. I know a coordinated attack when I see one. Jeff's never seen one on such a catastrophic scale. Ghosts do this? Not likely. Living laser? Not possible. New enemy, then? Or an old one? I might have created an artificial intelligence with diabolical ambitions. That sounds familiar. This one has my personality. Uh, Nick, I, I think your eye's twitching. Director Fury! What? Sir, the other carrier! How many crew aboard? None, sir. It was down for repairs from the previous ghost attack. Then why did they hit it? Old-fashioned, stark showmanship. Just a taste of what's to come. Oh, hey, boss. You know, it's funny me calling you that, since I don't work for you anymore. But you know what they say? Guns only do their job after they're fired. Which got me to thinking. How do we convince Stark Industries to make weapons again? How about... A massive global attack to rally the world against a common enemy. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass for me. I figured you'd say that. Well, if you want to stop me, you know where I live. Gunsmith out. Sir, I've been booted off the home network. Time to suit up. No, wait! Gunsmith helped build your suit. He'll just hack it, use it against us. We need an alternative. Friday was right. The gunsmith had tailored my suit to his own toxic specifications. But I had an idea. In the back of the closet, past all the skeletons, there was this. And despite the dust and the years of neglect, it was clean. Pure. Or it would be soon enough. I pulled the Mark I out of the cave and put it back together aboard the helicarrier. Rewired it. Reloaded it. And finally, to improve it, I installed my favorite co-pilot.
What's our game plan, sir? Gunsmith won't go quietly, that's for sure. But if I can erase his quantum neural nexus, I... Whoa! Boss, you made it! Wouldn't be a party without me. Missed! Don't encourage him, sir. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Sir, your home appears to have been... encased. Entombed! A mausoleum for a soon-to-be-dead hero. Friday, what are we dealing with? Analysis indicates that dome is a mixture of hard light and vibranium. Can it be breached? Well, hardly! Check this out! The dome appears impenetrable, sir. I bet you wish all those cities I'm gonna lay waste to had something like this. Well, they don't. Hostiles inbound. The Iron Age is over. It's my time now. Regeneration rate not optimal on this Mark I armor, sir. I'll melt that hunk of junk into slag. of mind. Stark weapons offer peace of mind. I'd like to offer him a peace of my mind. Smash them, sir! We're winning! Armor damage increasing, sir. Hits will wreck this old armor. <laughs> I still can't believe you went out wearing that. We need to find a way through that dome. Can't beat me, boss. You are. Me. I know how you think. Friday, patch me through the shield. All right, all right. Let's see if I'm warm here. Right now, you're calling up your old pal Nick. Tony, need air and support. You're probably telling him about my dome. I need a locksmith. But I always have an ace up my sleeve. Friday, mute his mic. Gladly. For you see, sometimes. Nick, I need to get into my home. Friday will send you the details. Shield's best to run it. How close are we to clearing out those targeted cities? Your better half's coordinating a widespread evacuation as we speak. Oh, right, we'll find a way inside the mansion. You 
just clear us a path. Okay, Friday, you can unmute Gunsmith now. Which, if you follow history, is what started that whole mess in the first place. <laughs> but I digress. Sir, more enemies en route. The Mark One's holding up. Steady on, sir. Rearranging your MP3 playlist. Oh, come on, I just alphabetized that. Be wary, sir. This old armor regenerates health rather slowly. Classic or not, this armor's not built to take punishment like this. It's like shooting cans off a of fence. Ugly cans. Keep at it. You're breaking them down. Seat health below optimal, but not critical. Mark one can hold up. Moving a little slower, aren't you, boss? I should have destroyed you when I had the chance. But you couldn't, because deep down, you know I'm the best part of you. Repair itself as quickly as your impulse armor. I have big plans for us, boss. Big plans. But I guess I'll have to go it alone. Sir, I'm detecting some sort of kill switch. Gunsmith? He's gone quiet. Uncharacteristic. Has Shield found a way through this dome? Not yet, sir. Tell him to hold off. I got an idea. Sir? Who do we know that can walk through walls? Oh, sir. This sounds like a terrible idea. Stay clear of the mansion. Our enemy's down, but not out. Tony, this is a terrible idea. Maybe, but it's a move the gunsmith won't expect. Yeah, because it's... Terrible. She blew up your buildings, put Pepper in a hospital, and put countless lives in danger all to kill you. You really want me to take those cuffs off her? No. I'll do it.
Hey, I'm as surprised as you. So, you need my help. Or my tack. He needs your help. I want to hear him say it. If I had another hour, I could probably recreate your tech. In your dreams. What? It's basically just a quantum tunneling system. Just. Just a quantum tunneling system. Shut up! Both of you. Are you doing this? Because if not, I'm taking you back to your cell. You can't change the past. He's offering you a stake in the future. I want to speak to Stark. Alone. We're heading back. Prisoner is staying. Hope you know what you're doing. your home. You weren't too happy about it. How do you know I won't leave you high and dry? And pass up a chance at revenge? Sir, there's a new energy surge radiating from the mansion. Copy. Stand by, Friday. If I do this, if I help you, we're not friends. Once he's gone, so am I. So be it. I need help. Finally, something we agree on. Nice moves. How do you manipulate your photons? Clodium helix. Overlapping acoustics? Nah, it's all way fronts. Hmm. Shouldn't be using palladium then. Don't tell me what to do. Whoa. This isn't what I signed up for. Time for plan B. I'm sticking with plan A. You got this. Better suit up. Smith 2.0. I'm thinking of renaming myself Tiny Stark. You know, because I'm so big! Okay, I'm in the mansion. I'll try to bring down this dome. Forget the dome. Help me bring down this giant idiot. Don't push me, Stark. Sir, your weapons are insufficient against his shielding. His code is beyond next level. But I am seeing some innate vulnerabilities in his armor. Defects. Defects? No, 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 no. That's my design. There are no defects. <laughs> if you say so, stand by. <laughs> Sir, Ghost has exposed a vulnerability in his armor. Attack that glass jaw of his, Dark. This is my party, boss. And I didn't say you could bring a plus one. Especially not her. Your first armor versus your latest. And progress marches on. Right over you. I have improved your energy budgets. Give me a day, and I can make you the beam that will melt whole countries. Dead aim, sir. What good are heroes in a world without villains? I gave you a great villain, boss. And you let it teamed up with her? Not what you had in mind. Oh, ghost, you ingrained! I made you! I made myself. And now, I'll unmake you. Idiot! <laughs> 
New weak points are up, Stark. He's protecting them with shields. Take those down first. Shooting the hard lights useless. Be wary, sir. This old armor regenerates health rather slowly. Stop wasting time shooting the hard light. Punch him, Stark. Yes. Shield is down. Of course you'd punch it. Okay, Ghost. So what? Ghost is one of the good guys now? Just better than you. You set a low bar. this dramatic when a bad roommate moves out two more vulnerabilities for you to target stark you're welcome soft in that cave force your heart bled all over my my best ruined by your son love for humanity your ego. Hey, that's fair, actually. His armor is modeled after your own design. Titanium alloy? Actually, sir. The suit material appears to be hard light based. He stole my tech. Oh, now you know how it feels. One can hold up. <laughs> I mean, you see what grows in the wild? Aren't living laser pork? 
Oh, you're about to learn I didn't need your help to be dangerous. Some damage taken, sir. Classic or not, this armor's not built to take punishment like this. Looks like you modified one of your latest suit designs for that hard light form. Yeah, I recognize it. What did he change? Not a lot, actually. Though he did remove the rocket roller skates. Hey, respect the roller skates. You're struggling, boss. Need a hand? Gunsmith, I think maybe you lost it when you couldn't build weapons anymore. I will end you. Sorry, pal. Should have done better by you. Armor damage increasing, sir. The suit has sustained significant damage. Proceed with caution. without arms. He's breaking down, Stark. Is that encouragement? It's a fact. Try not to die. <clears throat> Too many more hits will wreck this old armor. After this, a clean house at Stark Industries. Everyone, my mother, that is fun. She gets fired out of camp. Careful. This suit doesn't repair itself as quickly as your impulse armor. Mark 1's outdated and vulnerable. Can't let it take too many hits. Yeah. 
regeneration rate not optimal on this Mark I armor, sir. couldn't make weapons anymore. Where did I go wrong with you, boss? You could have changed the world, given people a way to protect themselves. But you had to play hero. Be all things to all. Stark, I'm running out of vulnerabilities to expose. Change your plans. I melt cities like ants with a magnifying glass when I can crush them under these giant boots. You always were a pain in my neck! Damage to your suit, sir. Ah, taking a beating. I hope the Mark I can hold up. All of you against me, and I'm still standing! Well, none of you even deserve to stand on my shoulders! Ghost, any other defects? That was it on the software side. Although, I do detect some kind of foreign object in his hardware. Something distinct from the armor. His hollow projector? I thought he got rid of that. Maybe he can't let go of the past. I can relate. Whatever it is, it's directly behind his chest plate. Can you expose it? I think so. But you'll have to get in close. <laughs> Your guy can't save the world. I'm the true Iron Man. The real hero. Ghost! Shock some sense into him! <laughs> Sorry, pal. Real heroes have heart. By the time I came to, Ghost was gone. I didn't bother looking for her. We had an understanding. The gunsmith was gone too. I hoped for good. But I'd retired him once before, only to bring him back when I thought I needed him. He was a lot of fun. Until he wasn't. People like us have to be vigilant. Enemies don't take a day off, and neither can we. Some may come from our past, others from a past self. But we don't have to deny where we've been. We can learn from it. And build something better. 
It took a ghost to remind me that this is in the end a beginning. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. I'm loving the new jet, Tony. Let's hope she holds together better than the last one. Sir, Miss Potts, may I remind you both that the entire governing body of Stark Industries is on this flight? The board's on board, we know. Then perhaps you should avoid making reference to the incident involving the previous Stark jet. They can't hear us. Can they? Hey, Nick. What's up? Surveillance satellite. One of ours. Yesterday, it started making its own orbital maneuvers. Today, it quit talking to us all together. Yeah, the kids call that ghosting. I call it suspicious. Check it out, will you, Tony? You got it. Pepper, change of plans. Let me guess. You can't make the company retreat in Maui. Actually, we can't make it. I could use your help on something. Pepper? I'm sorry, repeat that? For a second there, I thought you asked for my help. Friday, explain to the board members that Miss Potts and I have official superhero business to attend to. Pepper, you ready? Where to? Space. Space? As in, space space? Oh, you don't have to go if you don't want to. Race you there! Miss Potts seems to be enjoying her new suit. Uh, perhaps a little too much. Friday, reduce the thruster output of Pepper's suit by, uh, 30%. But be sneaky about it. Sir, so, considering for a second Miss Pot's happiness, how important is it that you get there first? Impaired. I'm iron.
Welcome home, sir. Thanks, Friday. You seen Pepper? I believe she's putting out a fire. Again. Literal or figurative? She took off in the rescue armor. She need my help? Does she ever? Okay, then. What fun can we get into today? Okay, today's show is for all the trolls who email saying Tony and I aren't really close. All I've ever done is squander my inheritance, and Tony has no time for a loser like me. To you, I say, ha, 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 because my guest today is Tony Stark. Yeah, I really do have to take another call soon, Morgan. Of course, <laughs> you're a busy man. So let's cut to the chase. You took down that giant like David laying out Goliath. What kind of insane terrorist supervillain faction created that freak? Uh, well, I did, actually. You see, there was... Say no more, I get it. Your brilliant technology misused by wrongdoers once again. I mean, that's not your fault. It's like if someone runs you over with a Roxxon SUV, is it Roxxon's fault? Uh, let's move on to the anarchist nihilist terrorist known as the Ghost. She's in custody, right? Uh, well, no. She sort of... disappeared? Running off with her tail between her legs. But who cares? Because Stark Industries is in great shape with you doing your thing and Pepper at the helm. Hey, what about the reports of a partner who's been spotted with Iron Man in a more femininely proportioned iron suit? It's Pepper, isn't it? Pepper Potts is the Iron Lady! You can use Iron Lady for free, by the way. Family discount. Uh, no thanks. Look, when I said I'd come on the show, you promised there'd be another guest. I did indeed. So let's bring him on and get ready for a savage finance bro down as my cousin, Tony, debates our old frenemy, Dario Agger, Roxxon's CEO. Oh, I wouldn't call it a debate. Given the active litigation Roxxon has against Tony, I can't say much. But I do want to offer my heartfelt condolences to your shareholders for all the money I'm going to take you for. Also, Tony, because I have a heart of gold, I wanted to give you the opportunity to beg me to drop the lawsuit. Having met you, Agar, the only thing I'm going to beg you to do is ease up on that disgusting Bulgarian cologne. And as for the lawsuit, you should be getting an email right about now with footage proving that I was fighting Ghost in that Palladium mine. So your case is as over as your haircut. You... How? How did you get this? You would have had to hack into Roxxon security cameras. That's illegal. Actually, it's footage from Ghost's drones, which we obtained when she was in custody. All super legal. Nick Fury is going to email you the warrant. So, we can go to court, and you can explain why you didn't turn over the security camera footage you just admitted you have. That's my preference, by the way. Or... Fine. I'm dropping the suit. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Louder and more obsequious? I'm dropping the suit! But you made an enemy today, Stark. Not the kind who wears a stupid costume. The kind that will take everything you have in the world! Uh, Morgan, let's cut his mic before he gets himself into even more legal trouble. Done! And, oh my god, that was so freaking awesome! Now I really do have to go. Of course! Oh, but, 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 but before you rush off, how about cutting a promo? You know, should you just say, this is Tony Stark, and you're listening to Stark Raving, the only financial advice I follow. I write my own material, Morgan. Here's the best I can do. This is Tony Stark. Morgan and I are indeed related. Perfect! This is new. Friday, what's this blip in the North Pacific? A maritime distress signal, sir. Anyone closer we can alert? Namor? No, sir. And you may want to investigate personally. The signal appears to hail from the Golden Avenger. 